This is the Riverhawk Report for Wednesday, October 7th, 2009. We're going to talk soccer. One UMass Lowell team is red hot, the other is closer to the other end of the spectrum. The women continue at a record-setting pace, the men simply are struggling. Each played Bentley on Tuesday. The women were home, the men were on the road. Let's start with them. It was not a good day. A 5-0 loss, their fifth straight, their longest losing streak since 1998. The Riverhawks outshot Bentley 14-9, but could only put five of those shots on goal, and none found the back of the net. The men will be back in action on Saturday. They visit Lemoyne, and that will not be easy. UMass Lowell's women's soccer continues not just to win, but to dominate opponents. The Riverhawks beat Bentley 3-0. The win extends the Riverhawk on beaten streaks 10 games. The shutout streak now is at 9, 942 minutes, and still counting. For goaltender Jamie Gillis, the shutout was the 33rd of her career. She made three saves, not a lot, but they were far from routine. And the final one coming in the final minutes of the game. While Gillis gets the statistical credit for the shutout, coach Ellie Montero is quick to point out it is a team effort, and he points especially to the play of what is a veteran and very good back line. It started last spring where they decided amongst themselves to keep opponents out of our goal. You know, the thing is they're taking pride in their individual defending. Each of them as individuals are, you know, accomplished defenders. That unit there, it, you know, they're just very comfortable with each other. They're confident because, you know, it, it's been a while since we've given up a goal. While the team did its job on defense, it also did its job getting on the scoreboard. Three goals, three different goal scorers. I'm not going to complain about that at all. I like the contribution from everybody. I think that we try to share the ball. I mean, we've talked about this. It's nice that we're getting people to go to get into the right spots and, um, you know, capitalize on the... Uh, on their opportunities. The first two goals came from Maddie Basilian, who also picked up an assist, and Caitlin McHugh. Those goals also came from a strategy developed to counter a Bentley team strong in the middle. And we thought that, you know, getting the ball out wide quickly and getting numbers to support you know, the ball out wide was going to was gonna help us out in creating opportunities. First two goals came from uh, wide positions, ball served back in, and, you know, these are things that, uh, again, we're working on in training and they're bringing out in games, and it gives them confidence to know that, you know, when they do that, we can be successful. The third goal came off the foot of Kelly Soper. The senior played a strong game. She would tell you that she was, you know, slightly underperforming earlier on in the season, but I think she's realizing that being a senior, she needs to lead, and, you know, she's running out of games in her career. There's probably that sense of urgency there from her part as well. The Riverhawks with a 9-2-2 and record will host Lemoyne on Saturday. Oh, and we should note, the victory was also a pleasant birthday gift for the coach, Ellie Montero. The last three years I've had games on my birthday and it's been Franklin Pierce twice and, you know, now it's Bentley and uh, we've won all three. So I'm uh, very pleased with that. And that's the Riverhawk Report for Wednesday, October 7th, 2009.